Hello friends and family from Lakeland, Florida. Today we're taking a trip right behind us to the Lakeland Antique Mall. If you guys have never been here before, you are definitely in for a treat. You are gonna find probably some of the rarest like Disney Resort used furniture, items from Disneyland, super rare pins, and even items that were used on Universal Studios property like Halloween Horror Nights, and the list goes on and on. This place is just simply put a treasure trove if you are a theme park fan for sure. But before we head on in, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. Actually, my last trip here to the Lakeland Antique Mall was several months ago. It does look like they gave the whole place a fresh coat of paint and it looks really, really snazzy now. I do want to show you guys the hours here for the Lakeland Antique Mall. It does look like Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. or Yep, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday is 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Let's head on inside. I'm actually seeing some uh, ride vehicles here. They're actually used at Disney rides and look at this. They actually have like the front of the ride vehicle for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. $7,500 for that. That is so crazy amazing that you can purchase that here. And there it is, like a picture of it actually, over here from the Magic Kingdom. This is one of the uh, Tomorrowland Star Jets, $35,000 for this. But again, this was literally used in the Magic Kingdom, in Tomorrowland. And it looks like it was number nine, like that is incredible. And I love how they put the uh, Mickey plushie inside. There's also this very large Velociraptor. Look at the teeth on that thing, like that is so neat. And the claws, like that is so cool. You can actually see the uh, Jurassic World logo right there. But right over here, actually a bunch of uh, different bins of Disney pins. These are all five to six dollars a piece. Look at this one, you got Bambi there with a, a Christmas hat on. A bunch of different offerings, like a really fun uh, stitch pin. It looks like from a past Halloween. Over here is a really fun goofy one, but these all range in price like they have a bin here of all $8 pins. They have some Incredibles in here. It looks like a Pride Collection stitch pin. Oh, look at this. They actually have a grape soda one. You never know what you're going to find in some of these uh, different mystery bins, if you will. Definitely check those out when you're here, but they do have some amazing collectibles underneath here. Like they have a jumbo pin there with Mickey which is really neat with a pillow, $16. Over here is a Disney snow globe. It's a Disney Sleeping Beauty one actually, $148. And then check out this black and white Disney pin set here with Steamboat Willie, $78. But you will find some crazy cool Disney relics like you're not going to find anywhere else like this Chip and Dale st statue here, $549 for that. And also check out this ginormous one, look how dapper Goofy looks. But then underneath you actually have uh, Mickey Mouse, Minnie, and then Pluto down there. Like that is really, really neat. And also an adorable uh, Tinkerbell statue over here. If you've never been here to the Lakeland Antique Mall, basically it's a lot of like little sections or different booths that people have all the merchandise for sale. So like you have to walk up and down every aisle because there is literally like Disney stuff in every aisle in here. This case here has a lot of fun Disney items. This is a Disney Showcase Grand Jester King Louis figurine, $64.99 for that one. Over here are Mickey and Minnie and also Donald Duck canister jars. You get the whole set of three, $63.99. But I definitely have to point out over here, this is a Disney Cruise Line Mediterranean big figure with Mickey, Goofy, and Stitch, it says. Look at the size of that, $439 for that one. And then there's an awesome uh, Pixar Monster Snacks, like little cookie jar down here. I've never seen that before though, $49.99. And they even have like a, a Fantasmic mug bag Back there. This is what I mean with the Lakeland Antique Mall though, like you walk up and down like all of these aisles and they are just aligned with everybody's like separate stores. I do want to show you guys some of the merchandise that they have at this one. They have a ton of different snow globes. Look at Simba there. Isn't that one so neat? Let's see what we got for a price. $85 for that one. 
Over here they have a Disney Thumper cookie jar. It says rare and vintage, $145 for that. Like that's really nice though. It looks like it'd be perfect for like uh, Easter or something like that. And then check out the, uh, the Mickey Mouse one. Definitely really, really cool. Like I love the size of these. The Mickey Mouse one is $87.90, but they have so many amazing snow globes. This one here is probably my favorite one that I've seen so far. $98, but you got Mickey. Right over here you have a Tinkerbell, Dumbo, Cheshire Cat, like that one is really cool. And like I said, there are just so many different snow globe offerings. If you'll notice actually, back here is a cast member. This is a Mickey Mouse statue for a service award from 1990 to 1999. That there is on a whole wooden base. That's $119.99. Look at the uh, Sorcerer Mickey. I feel like always the uh, good stuff is always behind the glass case. They do have a couple different pins here from the 50th anniversary and then you have Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And how many times do you get to see a uh, Tigger statue where he's wearing a baseball outfit? Like I love that but I love what they do with all the different booths here and it's not always Disney like it literally could just be antiques like this one over here has a bunch of like old comic books and things like that like chandeliers like you could literally find anything in the antique mall but these are all like people's like individual booths that we're actually going through in the back down here they have a really awesome haunted mansion tray look at that like i've never seen that before that there is 35 dollars there's a huge mickey mouse statue oh again he looks like he's playing baseball or something he has like a team usa back there is a uh, tinkerbell statue these are probably like the mickey's at least like two feet tall the uh, tinkerbell is probably a good 18 inches and check out the vintage mickey santa claus over there 395 dollars but there are so many fun little offerings like these old school salt and pepper shakers. Let's see what else we have actually. Pirates of the Caribbean, Walt Disney World, vintage mug, $24 for that. I think this booth is actually new since my last visit. I don't even ever remember seeing these. They have some vintage like uh, Seven Dwarves. It's almost like a, uh, like a squishy, like a little squeaky toy. That's $6. But there's all like different random toys on the shelf here. They have a vintage uh, Minnie Mouse one for $6. Look at this one. That is so adorable. You got like a little baby Mickey. And they even have like some uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarf statues back here. This one over here is happy. Let's see how much these are. $18 a piece. I don't feel like that's bad at all. But they have Happy, Bashful back there. And they do actually have one of uh, Minnie Mouse right over here. This back section is definitely the section you want to be though. Like if you're looking for like a huge like Disney props, Universal Studios over here from Halloween Horror Nights 30. This was actually used at Universal Studios. And again, this is $595. And up here they have a huge uh, prop sign that again we use for HHN. You have the director, but they have some incredible items. It does look like they have even more items here from HHN. This is the uh, Scary Haunted House prop from 2021 at HHN. It's really cool though because they actually show you where, uh, where it was used. That there is $499. And they actually have both pieces that were used on that sign. Like that's really cool that they still have those together. Over here is actually Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. This is parts one and two. This was used at Universal Studios as well. It's like a really heavy wooden sign. That's only $295. I feel like that's a really good deal. But check out this entire section. A lot of this is just it's just amazing. Back here you have the Hatbox Ghost. He's holding the Haunted Mansion sign. But a lot of these were actually used at Universal Studios. I believe that's from the uh, Scarecrow uh, Crawl. Let's see what we have down here. Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights uh, prop sign. This is I'm Back with Jack right over there. $355. Look at this guy just staring at us though. That is so creepy. The great thing about the Lakeland Antique Mall, if you're buying any of these props, it actually shows you a picture like of where it was used on property, whether at Disney or Universal Studios. Like I love that about everything. And it's, it's really detailed and specific too. 
like back here is an actual Disney original prop jacket. This here was used at Hollywood Studios Sport Coat, and that is only $14.99. I feel like that's a piece of like Disney history, only $15. They have a lot of different signage, actually from this past Christmas, from uh, Universal Studios, and also the Fast and Furious Supercharged sign from Universal Studios. Only $199 for that. Isn't that crazy cool? If you also remember the old Shrek 4D attraction, which is going to be rethemed to a Minions Villain Con at Universal Studios, they have like all of the props here. Right there, right over there is the Three Little Pigs animatronic. They literally have like all three from the Three Little Pigs here at the Antique Mall. Over here is a, uh, a rope that was used as a prop for the uh, Shrek 4D attraction. And look at the signage that they still have, like the Shrek banner. Up here are the actual three little pigs with the gingerbread man for sale. That one there is $750. And then look at Donkey right there. But these are actually incredible because this is like the pre-show, I believe, that you would actually see before you go and sit down for the attraction. Here's actually a couple items that were used on Disney property. This here is actually an abstract art that was used over in uh, Epcot. That's only $95 for that. They have a little display over here. Let's see here. This is actually from the Magic Kingdom. It's very, very fancy on the bottom. That display stand is $75. And from Hollywood Studios, they have some prop, like little dressers that they probably would have put like merchandise and things on. Those are for sale for $59.99 but they do have like so many like Disney Resort used items like these chairs over here these are used at Disney's Boardwalk Resort those are $35 a piece it does look like they actually have a whole pair of two of them let's see where this is this looks like something maybe from the Grand Floridian and then over here they also have some more of the artwork from the uh, Boardwalk Resort these are all framed matted $195 a piece for those look at that a graphic on there on that little card it actually says the board walk and they have some of the um, over here let's see what this is Disney original prop hidden Mickey wall art so these would have been some of the uh, wall sconces probably in the hotel rooms you got the hidden Mickey's on either side those are $65 it does look like they're getting lots of merchandise actually from the uh, Boardwalk Resort. They do have a pair of chairs from the Boardwalk, 165 a piece. But look how fancy the woodwork is. You have Mickey and Minnie inside of an old school car. Like that is so neat. And they're actually in really, really good condition. Like I love those. Let's actually just continue on our way here. See what else we could find. Again, more from the uh, from the Boardwalk Resort. They have the resort tables that were used in the rooms. The little prop like nesting tables that would go underneath and also the chair. So this is actually the chair I just showed you. They have the whole setup right here. And also from Disney's Grand Floridian Resort, they have some of those really fancy chairs with the embroidered back where it has a hidden Mickey. I'll actually show you right over here. See, it says Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. These ones are $109 a piece. Also important to note, if you're interested in any of this merchandise, definitely check out the Vault Collectibles. Again, Disney Universal Studios props. They have a huge banner in the back of the store. You can't miss it. Over here, what do we have? Okay, I actually seen these at Disney's Cast Connections. These are the uh, Boardwalk Resort nightstands. Those are $59.99 a piece. But back here, it looks like they have a ton of stuff since my last visit. Like, I can't wait to go through all of this and show you guys. Look at this fancy chair. This is, let's see, Walt Disney Santa used chair. That is so crazy. $950. This was used on Disney property. And literally, Santa Claus was sitting here, probably taking pictures with park guests. That there is awesome. There's a, a lamp over here from Disney's Contemporary Resort. That one's $39.99. I actually purchased one of these on one of my last visits here. Like, that's really cool to see that they have them back. And also some of the artwork that was used in the uh, bathrooms, I believe, or above the kitchen. Yep, above the kitchen. These were used at the Contemporary. $39.99 for those. If you guys ever stayed at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, this is one of the egg um, lamps, $279. But look at that, you actually have the egg right there. And again, these are in pristine condition. That is really neat to see. And then over here, like it looks like they're starting to put like a lot of the lamps kind of in the same section. This one here is used from Disney's Boardwalk, $299. But you got Minnie Mouse on there, a very fancy lampshade. 
And again, a couple other different uh, lamps that they have over here. Look at the Tiki God one from the Polynesian Village, $279.95 for that one and these ones are actually used at the poly as well a little bit cheaper at 250 but it does look like they have a lot of really fancy christmas garland too used on disney property one of my favorite things to check out is actually the artwork that they have here it's incredible like again these are used in the resorts this one here is actually from disney's polynesian 329 dollars the really fun thing though is it's actually like hidden mickeys like you'll see her drawing one in the sand right there I love the whole print in general, but also check out over here in the water. You can actually see another hidden Mickey in there. This here is amazing. It's a Hakuna Matata like uh, picture. It's actually framed and everything, but you have Timon, Pumbaa, and Simba. It says here it's actually used at Disney's Animal Kingdom. That's amazing. $499 for that right there. I love that though. And then right underneath, they don't get too many items from Disney Springs. So this is actually really cool to see. These here though are $195 for these canvases. I like all the different colors and Mickey on there. Like that's really neat. In the back side, it looks like they have a lot of stuff over here from Disney's Animal Kingdom. Again, some more framed artwork with some elephants. Let's see, $195 for that guy there. And then over here, let's see what we have. Like, what is this? Disney's uh, cast member folder. Oh, wow, okay. So this here is actually from the Animal Kingdom Lodge, I assume. Yep, there it goes. Animal Kingdom's actual cast member folder. This is actually really neat. It's a Disney original prop. Let's see what it says here. Boulder Ridge stamp art. That's really neat. So it's actually like all the different stamp art and you have Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Like, that's really cool. That there is only $95. They have some really fancy plates here from Disney's Grand Floridian Resort, $44.99. Like they have like a, like a silver lining. I love the writing on that. And they have an even fancier red one here. That one's $49.99. Looks like they have a few other new lamps here. This one's from Disney's Contemporary Resort. That one's only $24.99. Normally, the lamps are a bit more expensive, so that there is a really good deal. Over here is yet another one. Let's see here. This one was actually used at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. $30 for that one. A pretty darn good deal for that. What do we have down here? Disney's original prop antique used on Disney property. Look at that, that's actually really neat. It definitely looks very, very antique-y. $17.99 for that. These drawers don't open though. Over here is actually some really rare artwork. This is Disney Animation Art Cell, limited to literally only 300 pieces. That there is $2,500. But if you look, it's number 22 of 300. That is awesome. And a very old, like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Look at this, it's a limited release movie poster, $895, but like look at the dwarves there, like the color on this is incredible for being in the 1940s, like that's an original, you don't find things like that every day. Over here, event staff, all event areas, VIP passes, that's really neat too. Let's see here, MGM security cast member event pass and letter, that's cool, $195 for that. And they also have some Disney resort use tables here with all of the Mickeys all over the place. Those are only $75 a piece, like you can't go wrong, like these are really, really heavy too. This is what I mean though, like you go down these entire aisles here and it's just completely lined with Disney resort used items, like it's a treasure trove in here. Let's see here, we have All Star Music Resort used wall hangers, those are $40 a piece. You can actually screw them back into the wall. It does have like all of the classic Disney characters up here, the Horus Band, look at that, that's really cool actually. That's a... Uh, yeah, really fun art convention this was used. $1,695 for that. It looks like they also have like a whole tree set up from Disney Springs Christmas Tree Stroll 2020. They have a lot of the uh, ornaments that were on the various trees. This one here actually says it's from the Polly. It's a pineapple. $15 for that one. This one over here is actually a Pluto Christmas dog bowl from the Christmas Tree Stroll. You got all like the uh, Mickeys there and the uh, little dog bones. Those are $45 a piece. They have another one down here, again used at Disney Springs, but it shows you exactly which tree that it was. This one here is only $6 though. 
This back section has a lot of really fun Disney items. These chairs over here are actually used at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, $125 a piece. The cushions are really soft though, and I love all the carvings. We actually purchased one of those like quite some time ago. Like they are really cool. And then over here, this guy sold as is, $295. Look at Mickey there though. Like this is how like vintage and retro these are. Like that is really, really cool. And also looks like back here there's a cast member outfit from Disneyland. So it has a Disneyland patch. And then you have the guy's name was David. It's a whole jacket. Disneyland jacket. Yeah, $345 for that. They even have a couple Disney Resort used telephones. This one is actually from Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Room uh, 8221. This one here is $35. A pretty cool piece of uh, Grand Floridian history. They have one over here from Disney's All Star Resort. Room uh, 4629. $75 for that. And also looks like there's some lighting. Some more lighting from the uh, resorts. These are from Wilderness Lodge, $125 a piece. But these would have been like in the hallways as you made your way to the, uh, to your room. This is really crazy to see. They also have from the big suites, the Grand Floridian chairs. So these would be in like those big fancy suites. That chair is $295. I don't think the pillow comes with it, but that chair is really neat. And there's lots of different pillows that are actually used all over the resorts. This one here is from Saratoga Springs. Has hidden Mickeys, it says $45. Let's see if you guys could spot the uh, hidden Mickeys in there. They're actually really small. Then up here, these are from, just says Walt Disney Resort Pillow. It definitely looks like one from the Contemporary, but those are only $15 a piece. Like they're really neat. And then over here, what do we have? A guest room throw pillow. It just says Walt Disney World Resort. Only $10 for those guys. Some pretty good deals if you're in the market for some uh, Disney decorative pillows. This section here actually has like a bunch of construction hats. This, these are Disney Imagineer hats, $695. Like these are the hard hats. They have one with the name Mark. They have another one with the name Rick up there. Let's check out over here. They have some Buena Vista construction hard hats as well. Those are $395. You see the uh, Buena Vista logo there. You got Mickey Hammer in and some nails. These are from 1970 though. Like this one actually has a, a Disneyland Resort sticker on it. Like those are really cool. And it looks like there's a bunch of like really old items back here. Like check out these really really ornate old lamps that they have. They have Snow White, $795. Over here, looks like you have uh, Happy, or that's Doc, I should say, $795 for that one. Oh, look at that, they even have Dopey up there. $695, and Dopey's actually the cheapest. But these are from uh, 1938, it says. That is so long ago. It's so cool that all these things are actually preserved here. They do have so many amazing things actually all locked up. Like these are very special. 20 years of service at Walt Disney World. You have Simba, $395 for that. Over here is another cast member award where you actually have Cinderella Castle. This one's 15 years of service. That one's only $195. But look at this, they have one with Pinocchio. I'll get you a little bit closer there. See Pinocchio, that there is 35 years of service, $700. There's also this cabinet of really old plushies, a 1930s Grumpy Dwarf, $145. And like you could tell, like they don't make them like they used to. Like look at these vintage outfits. That there is just awesome. Over here is a really old Mickey Mouse plushie. The uh, tag's kind of curled. I can't tell what year it is. It says he's wearing overalls though. That there is $325. And then check out the uh, big Donald Duck in the back there. Isn't that really crazy cool? Like, that is so neat. It also looks like on this clothing rack is a bunch of cast member used items. This here is a Magic Kingdom cast member jacket with all fancy buttons. That one there is $295. Let's see what else is on here. Disney Legends SS Member Cruise 2007 event team. That uh, button up there is $45. They have one with a Walt Disney World Community Relations. That one's $45. Okay, here we go. New Overstock cast member items. So these actually weren't like worn, but they're literally just overstock. That there is only $2. Like that's crazy. Even a Disney Springs opening team t-shirt, $25 for that, for the opening team. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Look at that, our place to be, it says. And there's the uh, Disney Springs logo. There's even a sign here from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party used in the parks. That's $499 for that, a piece of Disney history. Down here is a really awesome sign. Look at this one. It's a uh, original carved pumpkin art, Disney used in property, $555. Look at the pumpkins though. You got Mickey, Hitchhiking Ghost, you have a uh, Pluto and, uh, and Goofy on there. Like that is really neat with Cinderella Castle in the backdrop. Like, I love that. They even have some uh, Jim Shore items, it looks like. This is the uh, pianist there. Statue, $150 for that. that. I love Jim Shore, though. Like, that's really neat. They even have some really fun framed artwork. This one here says Walt Disney World. You have Cinderella Castle. These are all about $20 a piece. You have a really fun one here with Walt Disney World. Again, the uh, shape of Florida with all the Mickey balloons. Like those are really cool. And then up here are some like ones that are framed and matted. $29.95, but you have Star Wars Return of the Jedi, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, like that is so neat. And then up here is a limited edition print of uh, Snow White, and then you have three of the door dwarves there, $145 for that one. And it does look like this one over here is actually from 1993, Disney Aladdin limited edition print, $189. This one here is a really amazing Walt Disney World pin set. Actually, you even have like Disneyland up there, Magic Kingdom, Epcot Center, Tokyo Disneyland, Disney's California Adventure, like you have it all, Disney Cruise Line, Tokyo Disney at Sea. That there is $495. It's all framed and everything though. Now look at this down here, save these bags. You got Donald Duck. What does that say there? Creamy Frost. And here's like the other side of the bag. That's really neat though. It's like a really old school Donald Duck bag. Those are $249 framed. In this back section, they do have a lot of chairs from Disney's Wilderness Lodge. These are the ones that look like they have the three Christmas trees. Those are $75 a piece. And then up here, check this out. It's a Disney World band drum head. It actually says Walt Disney World and band underneath. $895 for that. That is like so rare though. It actually shows you one of the uh, cast members there beating the drum. And then over here, Celebrating 25 magical years, you have a, a Disney marching band smock, $425 for that. This whole booth over here actually has a ton of different Disney merchandise. I want to kind of dive in and show you guys a lot of it. But the first thing that's actually catching my eye is this Disneyland map. Look at this from the 1950s. They have an original Walt Disney the Magic Kingdom Disneyland USA map. That one there is $195. Let's actually go in though and check out some of the different offerings that they have in here. They have a, a random solo women's uh, ringer tee. This one here is $16.50. I do want to check out these pictures up here though. You have Donald Duck uh, since the Quacken since 1934, the original. This one here is $95 for that. And also from Disney's storybook collection. This is actually really neat. Framed artwork. That there is only $85 of Pinocchio. And then look at this celebration sign. You have new magic from Tokyo Disneyland. $550 for that sign. There's also a really rare pin set that's completely framed up there. This is a Disney World, a rare 25th anniversary Company D. These, all these pins here are limited to 1,000. That there is $325 only for that piece of Disney history. And then over here, look at the uh, Sorcerer Mickey sign that's back here. This is extremely rare. It says 25th anniversary Sorcerer Mickey plexiglass sign. That is $7,995. But look at the sheer size of this. Like this thing is enormous. They even have a Pinocchio lunchbox. This is from 1971. That is $79. You can tell how vintage and used that is. That is amazing to see down here. Let's see what else we have. We actually have a Snow White, a Scary Apple adventure prop actually used in Disneyland. $1,995 for that. And then right underneath over here is an actual Snow White doll. If you notice on the leg there, it's actually signed by Walt Disney himself. $12,500. But it has like the whole signature right there on a very, very vintage Snow White doll. 
This case here actually has a lot of super duper rare pins. Not all of them I could see prices on, but this one I can. This is a really rare limited edition uh, 50th anniversary pin. That's $75. I do want to show you guys some of the ones in here though. You got Disney's Wide World of Sports over here. 1995 from Disney's Blizzard Beach. Like, isn't that amazing? You have a Disney pin over here. Mickey's Birthday, 1988. This one over here actually has like a little, uh, looks like a, uh, a license plate there for a car, but it says 1986 on it. Like that's amazing to see. The Living Seas, Happy Thanksgiving 200 or 2006 with a uh, figment on there. Another limited edition pin. Character, character uh, crest collections. You have a Minnie Mouse one and also a Goofy one over there. But I do love this one here with uh, Disneyland Walt holding Mickey's hand with magical milestones. I believe that's 45 years. I had such a great time here today at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Like they do have something for everybody in terms of budget. Like they have cheaper Disney pins, ones that are definitely more rare. And as far as like collectors, like if you're into the Disney Resort used furniture or just Disney Resort used items in general, this is definitely the place for you. If you like high-end collectibles, like they have you covered from uh, Walt Disney World, uh, Disneyland, even all of the way over to Universal Studios. There is so much at so many different price points like you can actually get like Disney Resort use pillows there for like ten dollars which is a really really good deal actually like all things considered but they have so many amazing items here I call it like a Disney museum if you will like it's that crazy some of the stuff here that you're gonna find here if you'd like to further support the channel, please consider checking out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box of this video. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.